exploring the evolutionary life history trade-offs in Palinti's conicus. Depending on the organism, life history strategies significantly vary. These strategies are associated to the conditional environment and life history traits. However, traits such as fecundity, offspring size, early production and mortality rate are subject to trade-offs and pressures. What is a trade-off? Trade-offs involve the compromisation of two desirable traits, where the more advantageous trait increases, whilst the other decreases in performance and efficiency. This is due to the inability to invest all energy into the two respective trade-offs. For instance, the reproductive strategies of moon snails and humans significantly differ. Humans have fewer successful reproductive events in their lifetime, whilst moon snails are on the extremes of the life history continuum. These mothers produce plump translucent egg masses, which encase tens of thousands of tiny little eggs or black looking specks. So, why do so little offspring survive from the thousands of eggs? Well, if snails produce at least one egg mass per year, then this will equate to only needing enough to maintain population size, of course assuming the environmental condition is stable. Parental care and investment contributes to these trade-offs and therefore affect the survivability of the offspring and reproductive events. Interestingly, egg masses show great variation in size. For instance, they grow five times the size of their birthing mother. Their semi-permeable membrane allows for the passive absorption of water. This gives reason to their size variability. Commonly, egg masses wash up onto the shoreline or get caught in grass reeds. This made sampling the population much easier. Moon snails are a misunderstood species due to the lack of representation in the scientific community. Hence, our methods and research are quite novel. By cutting off the end of a pipette tip, we were able to obtain uniform and standardised samples of each egg mass. With a spiralling motion, puncture each egg mass with the pipette tip. A blade was used to ensure that all samples were equal and uniform. Each sample was counted, averaged and then calculated for overall density. With a compound microscope, the relative size of the eggs and developmental stages are visualised. Interestingly, these stages vary from cell division, early villagers and moving embryos. Overall, our research communicated that the classic trade-offs between fecundity and egg size has a weak positive correlation with a p-value of 0.6, which indicates there is minimal evidence and probability of a trade-off. This distinctively differs from prior research on fecundity and egg size. Conclusively, this reflects that egg masses are potentially condition-dependent to the environment. More importantly, this research constructs new ideas about the implications of the environment, resources and life history traits, which may or may not cause trade-offs in a species. Importantly, this study is able to broaden the public's awareness of egg masses.